guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to teach you how to contour and highlight your face. If you'd like to see how I do my own contour and highlight then please keep watching. I'm just going to go in with primer first. Just using my Fenty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I'm sorry I haven't posted two videos this week. I usually... Well I do... Yeah, usually post two videos a week. But this week I wasn't feeling amazing mentally, so I didn't want that to show in my videos. So I thought I won't film on my day off. I'll just make up for it like on the weekend and during the next few weeks, I guess. I do feel guilty for not doing a second video this week, but I will aim to continue giving you guys two videos a week because that is what I want to aim to do. So next I'm just going to fill in my pores, just using my Benefit Professional. Just going to go in with a tiny bit of concealer, just to spot conceal before I put my foundation on. And for that I'm just using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC25. This stuff is amazing. It's so, so, so full coverage and it lasts all day. If I'm going out somewhere, like at night time, such as clubbing or something, I'll usually put a bit of this under my foundation where it rubs off easily and then it doesn't rub off so much. And for foundation today, I'm just using my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Warm Nude. So now moving on to cream, contour and highlight. Now, as I'm sure you've already seen, there are many ways to contour. You can do your contour first and then apply foundation over the top. Or like I said, this is just the way that I like to do mine. So I always start off with my foundation first. Now for cream contour, I'm just going to use my favorite Clinique Curvy Contour Chubby Stick. Now always choose a product that is easy to blend. I definitely, definitely recommend this because it's so creamy. It doesn't dry quickly, meaning that you've got time to work with it. I know that a few do dry relatively quickly and then it makes it really hard to blend out. So I definitely recommend this. So always start off with a small amount of product because you can add more if you want like a more contoured effect. If you go straight in with a lot of product and especially if you're like a beginner or even myself, I don't even go in with that much product to start anyway. It's really hard to blend out and it can make your face go really muddy. I've said that word many times now. It can make your face look really muddy. So always go in with a small amount. Now to start off, I just like to contour under my cheeks. So you just want to follow the natural line of your face. Don't kind of put it anywhere that doesn't, I guess, match up with your natural facial structure otherwise like I said it's just going to look really unnatural so what you can do is like suck your lips in like a little fish and then that shadow you can see where your cheek is that's where you want to put your contour so I'm just going to start off with a little bit for now so I can show you if I want to build it up or not and then you want to match that line on that face on that cheek so that they are even So that looks relatively even and now I'm just going to just draw little dots around my forehead where I want to contour. Now you can also at this point contour your nose, your jawline and anywhere that I guess you want to contour but I don't usually contour my jawline or my nose with cream contour. I'll go back in and contour my jawline ever so slightly with powder and my nose I guess doesn't really need contouring so that's lucky you can if you want to even if you do have a small nose just to further define it but I just don't feel that it needs contouring down the bridge because the bridge itself is relatively thin now to blend this out you just want to use a damp beauty blender I like to pinch it on the side so it makes it a bit I guess long and skinny and then again 
sucking your lips in kind of like a fish. You just want to blend it into that kind of hollow of your cheek. Just doing little like, I guess, dabbing motions. And now I'm just going to slowly work my way up the forehead. Just checking it's blended as I go. Now with my contour, I like to blend upwards rather than downwards. I find if you blend it downwards, you're going to give yourself too much of a hollow and make yourself look a bit like too gaunt, I guess is the word in the face, like a, a bit too slim. That's sort of the contouring you would do if you were drawing a skeleton on your face. So think of it that way. It's just going to make you look sick, I guess. So I always blend upwards and then that way it almost acts as like a bit of a bronzer as well on your cheek. Now with forehead contouring, if you have a small forehead, you probably don't need to do it at all. You'd probably just go in with a bit of bronzer later rather than any cream contour. But I have a relatively large-ish forehead. It's not huge, but it's not small. So I do like to contour it. If at this stage you feel like you've already put too much product on, just flip to the other side of your beauty blender and just kind of blend away anywhere that you've put a little bit too much on. Like I said, if you do put too much on, it is hard to blend away. So always start with a small amount. Now for today's purpose, I'm just going to add a little bit more contour just to further define my cheekbones. You can see I'm only adding a very small amount. Do keep in mind that once you set your face, it's gonna you're gonna lose a little bit of the effect of the contour because the powder is gonna hide it just a touch. And that's it for the cream contour. Now for highlighting, you just want to take your favorite concealer. Again, with the concealer, don't use a concealer that's too light or too dark. If it's too dark, you're not gonna get the highlighted effect. And if it's too light, then it's just gonna look way too unnatural. So to conceal, I'm just going to be using two concealers. My Tarte Shape Tape, that is too light for me, so I'm only going to put on a small amount. But I'm mainly going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes, where I want to highlight. A little bit down the bridge of my nose. Now because I have quite a deep kind of dip in the bridge of my nose I do like to highlight here to bring it forward so basically you want to highlight anywhere that you want to bring forward make stand out a bit more whereas contouring is the opposite you want to make those parts look smaller and a bit more I guess sunken in and yeah just more defined now I'm just going to add a tiny dot of this just onto the top of that. Yeah. 
Again, going in with my Beauty Blender, definitely don't use the side that has the cream contour on it. Use the clean side. And then just blend this out. So because I've contoured my forehead, you definitely don't want to bring the highlighter up too high because otherwise it just counteracts the fact that you've just contoured your forehead. Then I just like to flip over my beauty blender and using my foundation side, I just like to kind of blend the contour and highlight I guess into each other a little bit so it's you've got like a nice kind of gradient effect and if you feel like you've blended your highlight out a bit too much and it's kind of gone into your contour just take the contour side and just go over it Now I'm just going to set my face with my Face of Australia Translucent Powder and when you set your face you want to make sure that there's no creases especially if you get creasing under your eyes I just like to quickly blend that out and then go straight in with some powder under your eyes so you don't get the creasing again and then I just like to push translucent powder into anywhere that I get creasing And then I just like to dust translucent powder over the rest of my skin and kind of flick away any remaining translucent powder around my eyes as I'm going along. I find the drier and more matte your skin is, the better powders are going to blend over the top of your skin and that's why I like to set my face so much because I do like to go in with a bit more contour and highlight once I'm all set so as you can see like I mentioned the powder has dulled down my contour quite a bit you can still see it there but it's nowhere near as defined as it was before we set it same with like my under eye highlight as well. <coughs> Ooh. A little bit too much uh, powder around the nose there. Okay, next moving on to powder contour. I like to use a matte powder to contour. A shimmery powder such as like a bronzer is just going to look exactly that, just like a bronzer. So I just like to take the Hoola by Benefit. Just take the little applicator brush that it comes with. Again, you just want to go in really light-handed with this at the start. Don't have too much product on your brush. Now again, sucking your cheeks in like a little fish. And then just following that same line that we did the cream contour. I use my hand very, very lightly at this stage, as you will see. I'm kind of only just touching my skin. Taking a tiny bit more product, dusting off the excess. We're going to go in on the other side. So you can see how much definition that's added already. Taking a tiny bit more product. I'm just going to swirl this around the edge of my forehead again very lightly because you can always add more contour but it is hard to blend away if you've added too much making sure to get a little bit of product in your hairline so that you don't have a foundation line now I'm just going to dust off any excess off that brush 
and then just using that I'm just going to blend these edges here out And then using whatever is left on that little brush, I just go a tiny bit under my jawline, making sure that it's blended and a tiny bit on the other side as well. Maybe a tiny bit under the chin was an attractive face. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with where that is at at the moment. So if you want, you can leave it like this so it's like a match look. But now that summer is coming here in Perth, I want it to glow. So I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shared medium and just placing that lightly over the top of where I put that contour add a bit of sheen and then going over that contour a little bit as well and also a little bit on the cheek because it's a bronzer now if there's anywhere that you feel like you have overdone now because you know you're layering things on top just take your translucent powder brush and just work away anywhere that you want to you know dull back down a little bit keep in mind though this won't blend away everything it will just take off a tiny little bit so if you've already overdone it then say goodbye to the whole lot pretty much okay now for highlight I love to go in with highlight so if you do love highlight during like the wet stage of the, or like the cream stage of applying products, you could add like some liquid highlighter such as some like glow drops or like a cream highlighter, but I don't like the way that they blend out. I find it always takes my foundation off. So I usually skip that step, even though I do love a blinding highlight. So, as we've all seen, my favorite current highlighter is the Tardis Pro Glow to Go palette and just this shade in the middle here called Burst. It is a gorgeous gold color, so I like to pack that on a dense brush. <laughs> no regrets. And Ta da we're done. I'm kidding, we're gonna blend that out. I just wanted to basically show you how blinding that highlight is. And show you exactly why it's my new fave. So with highlight, you don't have to go in as much as I do. I just live for a blinding highlight you can just use something a bit more subtle. A subtle highlight I recommend is the MAC Soft and Gentle. That's a beautiful color. It's like a pink champagne-y color. I also like to add a bit to the Cupid's bow to make my top lip seem like it's a bit more full. Like so, I can blend this out a little bit. Just going to quickly do the rest of my face off of camera. So I just quickly filled in my eyebrows just with an eyebrow pencil, put on some mascara just on my top lashes and threw on a little bit of lipstick. So here is my contoured and highlighted face. Now you can go as heavy or as light as you want with contour depending on if you want a more structured look or if you want just a more lighter and natural look. I prefer a little bit more than natural as you can see. Do keep in mind if you're a beginner to always start off with a little bit of product and then building your way up 
don't apply a whole heap on and then try blend it out even i wouldn't do that because it is definitely tricky and once it goes muddy it's very very hard to come back if not impossible when you just have to take all your makeup off and start again if you did enjoy my video and you learned something from this then please make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel and i can't wait to see you in my next video